Hello guys, привет всем, здравствуйте, добро пожаловать. I'm still a little bit sick, so my energy is not the strongest, but I'm gonna try my best. So today we're going to be watching the proposal, and as you know, I'm not a huge fan of rom-coms, but sometimes I do like to include them just to have a variety. But I think this one should be really good, because it has Sandra Bullock and it has Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds. And... Um, I also saw that you guys told me that Deadpool vs. Wolverine or Deadpool and Wolverine, I don't know, I don't remember the correct name, that it's uh, available on streaming, so I'm thinking that we should watch it as well. So it's going to be a very Ryan Reynolds weekend, you know? Anyway, let's watch rom-com. Ooh. Well, it's 12. She likes him clearly. You could see this. Publishing. Hello, Frank. That was my favorite writer. Frank, people in this country are busy, broke. Read Frank's book. And that person is Oprah. Okay, high stakes, I see. Cut me close. One of those mornings. Oh. Oh my god. The shirt off your back. Literally. Two company seats for your shirt. Oh wow. So she is a bitch boss or something? No? Because everyone immediately got back to work and all. So awkward, you know? Morning, boss. See if the conference call in 30 minutes. Janet, she doesn't get her manuscript in on time. We won't give her a release date. Hold of PR and have them start drafting a press release. Frank is doing Oprah. Oh my god, there is a phone number or something, right? From a waitress? Uh, who is Jillian? Ew. Ooh. Well, that was originally my cup. So you drink soy lattes. It's like Christmas in a cup. <laughs> hey, Bob. Actually, we're headed to your office right now. <laughs> so he's an assistant of our witches on her broom. Have you finished the manuscript I gave you? I read a few pages. I wasn't really impressed. You order the same coffee as I do, just in case you spill. Pathetic. A fearless leader and her liege do come in. It's English Regency Egyptian revival built in the 1800s. I'm letting you go. Wow. It's you over a dozen times to get Frank to do Oprah, and you didn't do it. That is impossible. Frank hasn't done an interview in 20 years. You didn't so even call to be him, him, did you? Two months to find another job, and then you can tell everyone you resigned. That's okay, I guess. In, guys. in this particular scenario. You can't fire me! You are threatened by me! Ah. Uh... What you're gonna have on your deathbed? No one. No, he doesn't get severance. I didn't fire you because I feel threatened. You spend more time cheating on your wife than you do in your office. Another word. And you're going out of here with an armed escort? Oh my god. And this week can help review his files. This is my grandmother's 90th birthday. I'll cancel it. Okay, then don't get me. I'm sorry. Oh my god, so he wasn't making it up. Listen, I've worked too hard for this promotion. Your family? Yes. They tell you to quit? Every single day. <laughs> Every single day, that's funny. We're gonna mole, I wanna see you upstairs immediately. Okay. Good morning, Miss Tate. So are we gonna fall in love? And she's also very in love with her. Jack, Edwin? Margaret, you didn't go to the Frankfurt Book Fair because you weren't allowed out of the country. All oh, right, immigration lawyer called you, right? Well, I didn't have a choice, did I? <laughs> Just spoke to your immigration attorney? And you are being deported. Oh, so that's why she's gonna marry. I'm from Canada, for Christ's sake. Canada! You have to leave the country for at least a year. Oh. I can, uh, I can manage everything from Toronto. So this is resolved, I'm gonna turn operations over to Bob Spalding. I beg of Margaret, you, I beg... we are desperate to have you stay. Begging I, you. No, Margaret, there, excuse it, me, I we're in a meeting. I know. But I told you you were otherwise engaged. She insisted, so. Oh, he just gave her an idea, right? Yeah, it was his idea. That's amazing. I think there's something that you should know. We are getting married. Oh, so it wasn't the actual idea. We are getting we are. married. We are. for our secretaries, would it, Edwin? <laughs> oh. Oh, ouch. Just two people who weren't meant to fall in love, but we did. No. Something can't fight a, can't fight a love like ours. <laughs> it's terrific. Just make it legal. Hmm? We need to get ourselves to the immigration office. We'll do that right away. But it also, if he sponsors her, right, then he cannot sponsor anyone else for the next, what, like 10, 15 years? <laughs> oh my God, all of them are judging him. Oh, we hate her, right? And plus, he just called her a witch. <laughs> 
So, wifey. I don't understand what's happening. Relax, this is for you too. It's illegal. I'm not going to marry you. Sure you are. Bob is going to fire you the second I'm gone. All your dreams of being an editor are gone. Quickie divorce can be done with. Are they supposed to move in together, right? Because I think the government might send someone to check. Or not? I don't know. I need for you to file this fiance visa for me, please. Please, come with me. Yes, ma'am, I am. Well, you need to have balls to do that. Hi. Hello. Are you both committing fraud to avoid her deportation? Well, they're not down there, right? We had a phone tip this afternoon. Bob Spaulding, give us our next step. We will be out of your hair and on our way. Let me explain to you the process. I'll put you each in a room and I'll ask you every little question. I look at your phone records. I talk to your neighbors. We'll be deported indefinitely. $250,000, five years prison. Are you serious? That the implications are that bad? Do you want to... Talk to me. Okay, who is he afraid more, prison or her? Uh, the truth is. Oh, no, he's gonna go with it. That's a Margaret. That's a and movie, I right? I mean, we need to see a movie about it. Are just two people who weren't supposed to fall in love, but did. And do you think in, at the end they stay together because they realize they're perfect to each other? My big promotion that I had coming up that it would be uh, deeply inappropriate. So, what, are your parents dead? You're gonna tell them this weekend. Cammy's 90th birthday. Andrew's parents' house. And where, where, where's that located again? Jump in. Oh. Sitka. Sitka. You go to Alaska this weekend. Oh, so good. Oh, okay. Monday morning for your scheduled interview. I'm looking forward to this Darling. one. Darling. Yes. We're looking forward to this. Okay, well, I think it's gonna be super fun, awkward movie. I like it. We'll go up there. We will right. pretend like we're boyfriend and girlfriend for you to fly first class. But please confirm the vegan meal, okay? Why aren't you taking notes? I'm sorry. Were you not in that room? Yeah, five years in prison and 250 fine. Promote you to editor? No. Then I quit. Fine. Fine. Good. Editor and a wife? Right away. And you'll publish my manuscript. Now, ask me nicely. Oh my god, she's so desperate, she'll do anything right now. On your knees. Oh! <laughs> Every guy's dream of what? <laughs> uh, will you marry me? No, say it like you mean. Oh! <laughs> Would you please put the cherries on top, marry me? I'll see you at the airport tomorrow. Good. I know everything about you. Four days to learn all this about me. What am I allergic to? Pine nuts. <laughs> do I have any scars? That you have a tattoo. Now that they in fact do remove, remove tattoos. tattoos. You canceled your appointment. Where it is though? No, I'm They're not. Gonna ask because it, we're uh... done with that. Whose place do we stay at? Yours or mine? That's easy. Mine. And you probably live at some squalid little studio apartment. <laughs> well, how are we getting to Sitka? <laughs> wow, gorgeous, isn't it? Welcome home, Andrew! Right, here we go. I think his family is going to be incredibly sweet. She feels so uncomfortable, that's ridiculous. Ah! Oh! So, you know your father, he's always working. Oh, we're not gonna like her at all, right? Because she's gonna be so snobby. Being called Margaret or Satan's mistress? She's kidding. <laughs> oh, oh! I'm thrilled to have you! Come on, let's get you back to the fort. I think I'm gonna like this movie so much because so far it's 10 out of 10. Who's this Paxton guy and why does he own Sitka, you know? <laughs> There's like only one brand. You didn't tell me about all the family businesses, honey. Oh. Their family businesses? Whoa. To our hotel right now. We canceled your reservation. I don't want to use your legs to lift that one. She insists on doing it all herself. She's one of those, uh, she's feminist. Oh, you go, I look at the. Oh my god, how is she even walking in the shoes? On pebbles. This is the last of them. Oh! I'm not getting on that boat. You don't have to. See you in a few days. <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on, here we go. Take your time, though. Shh. Do you think he's gonna, like, oh, I know where her tattoo is? <laughs> Just gonna give me a little hand here. Off ass. <gasps> oh, how wonderful does that look? Here we are. We're home. Did you tell me you were poor? My parents are rich. Hi, what, what is this? Welcoming party. A party? Yeah, I guess so. <gasps> ooh, ooh, so yummy. Some kind of Alaskan Kennedy. I'm talking about you. I need to think that we are in love, so let's just... Why are they just stop snacking on children while they dream? <laughs> like Freddy Krueger? This is McKittrick. So I always wanted to know, what? 
editor do? Hello, Dad. Why don't you tell us exactly what a book editor does? Well, he's Andrew's not an editor. He's an editor's assistant. Actually, Andrew's boss, you know. Wow. Okay, so I see there is a little bit of disappointment, resentment between father and son. Not what the hell, Andrew? She's your meal ticket. She's my fiance. Yeah, that's not how you think, how you would want it to go, you know? Did you get it for some more? Oh, no, I'm fine. Thank you. Thank you. If you want, just taste it. That's me trying to give a pill to my dog, you know? <laughs> Margaret and I are getting married. Okay. Where are you at? Uh, there it is. <laughs> Idea of a perfect mm-hmm. He hasn't even undressed yet. Hey, hi. Wow. <laughs> so, surprise. Hi. 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 I'm ex, uh, Gertrude. Yeah. Very close a little relationship with her uh, ex. How you proposed? I would love to hear this story, Andrew. Mama's been very sweet. Loves telling the stories. Wow. Okay. Just tell your perfect proposal story, you know? Celebrate our first anniversary together. I started leaving him little hints here and there because I knew he wouldn't have this woman's about as subtle as a gun. <laughs> <laughs> she might find this little box. The decoupage pictures of himself. Just pasted all over the box. Saw oh, the most beautiful. Nothing. No ring. Little handwritten note. <laughs> with the address to a hotel. Okay, interesting. Okay. I thought, thought he was seeing someone else. What? Yeah. I went to that hotel anyway. Swung open that door. There he was. When he held back the tears and finally caught his breath. Oh my god. Margaret, will you marry me? And she said, yep. You are so sensitive. <laughs> Let's see a kiss. <laughs> yeah. You two cuties. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Ready? <laughs> Isn't it weird for my ex to be there still? You know? Do you think this is going to be the first moment when I actually realize that they might like each other? <laughs> Give her a real kiss! Oh my god! I don't know. Isn't it so weird to... I don't know. People kisses is a little bit weird. <laughs> so, here we are. Wow, this is um, beautiful. <laughs> Where is Andrew's room? You two don't sleep in the same bed. <laughs> Oh my god, what is it? Heaven? I'm sorry, so Margaret. Cute. Oh, he's so cute. He's such a cute boy. Oh, you don't let him outside. The eagles will snatch him. Oh. Towels and linens and things in here. He has special power. I call it the baby maker. Oh. <laughs> Super careful with yeah. that one. Good night. Oh, this is so sweet, though. You know, the whole family is opening <laughs> up. That is amazing. So, uh, you haven't been home in a while. Don't look, okay? Okay. Well, I thought she's gonna be naked. She's not naked. I was supposed to be in a hotel alone. Go to sleep. It's still bright. Maybe take half of pillows down, you know? Looks like I won't be getting much sleep with the sun streaming in. Oh, is it bright because there's... <sighs> Thank you. Sun, I don't know what's the proper way. <gasps> First side pocket. Frank! Frank, darling, stop! One minute! Oh my god! Margaret! I'm, I'm sorry you feel I pressured you into doing over, but it's going to be fine. Oh my god, no, not the doggy! Not the puppy! Yes, I love listening to you, Frank. No, no. Well, Frank, if I may... <gasps> no, not the eagle! You have uh, inspired me with your beautiful words. Just so rich Don't with... Don't let you want to figure out this! I just want you to be happy! Oh, oh my god. So sorry, okay. so sorry, so sorry. The eagle is coming back! And, and, and coming back. Oh. Oh. Take the dog, I need that phone! Look here, take the dog, take the dog. <laughs> she, she's playing with Kevin. We thought she didn't like him. <laughs> yeah, tell her we have a big surprise for her. <laughs> Your grandmother was completely right. You drunk? <laughs> We'll order another phone, same number, we'll go into town tomorrow and we'll get it. That's a problem solver. You have to get ready. Oh, you're going out with mom and the girls. No, I don't want to go. You're going. I'm not going. Time. I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to, Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh. If you touch my ass one more time, I will cut your balls off in your sleeve. It's a good fiance. Mm. Ah. <laughs> Oh, wow. Who takes the balls off the water later on? Who cleans it? She, uh, 
I was a little peeved, shocked to find out that Mary, none of us even knew you were dating. I owe you an apology. I've been going over my retirement plans. It doesn't mean anything. Unless you have someone to leave it to. Oh, he doesn't want his money? You have responsibilities here. Mm. I wish you had another son, I really do. One who wanted to stay here. It seems strange to you, my life in New York, sitting in an office. That's what makes you happy, son. I got nothing to say. Have fun out here. But that didn't mean anything bad though, right? He built an empire, he wants to leave it to his son. Yeah, I, I hope you are ready for your big surprise. Is it going to be a strip or something? He is one of our Sitka's greatest treasures. It's very interesting that this is the second day she knows her fiance's parents and they take her out to a strip club. That is sweet of them though, you know? Come on, enjoy a little, right? He's also quite famous of an actor, right? He was in the office, TV shows and movies, right? So that's quite, quite a role. Free. <laughs> Working on my tan. Uh -huh. Yeah. I think we're cool as hell. It's a little different than New York, huh? That was always Andrew's dream, not mine. All through college, but we were kids. I still think that's very weird that she still hangs out there, you know? The night before we graduated school, he proposed. And I said no. And now she regrets it. You're a lucky girl. He really is the best. Very much so. Yeah. Cheers to you guys. It must be killing her. Why is she continue hanging out? Why did she go on? to her bachelor. To me, it's a little bit weird. I don't know. Because it looks like she's just it's torturing like herself. It up. And if that would be a real wedding, you know, a real proposal, then it must be so hard for fiance as well. It's wonderful. Stress management? Best to leave him alone. Come on, honey. Hey, hey, hey. What, what are you doing? I'm watching that. Well, maybe he's planning to escape. <laughs> I had a great day today. Thank you. A frank conversation with him about his future. He will never come back home now. You are going to be supportive of him marrying Margaret. We are going to end up just you and me alone. A grandchild that we never get to see. Okay, I see everybody's point in this movie, you know? I see mom's point too. Towel, towel. This is all we have for a towel. <laughs> Hello? Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 no. Sorry for, for feeding you to the eagle. <laughs> oh. My dog actually likes it because it's a warm air, you know, and it's just so enjoyable. He would like, like it. Exactly. Why is he getting undressed on the balcony? I'm not complaining, but isn't it weird? attacking me and I died to run and I go go that is the most nice tattoo by the way see that barely made it out with my life <laughs> <laughs> this is the most awkward moment in the movie I think I ever saw so naked <laughs> not talk about that please what's the deal with you and your father what if the guy asks not about that Margaret good night he's gonna tell her no? I like the psychic network. I actually quite enjoy it. I took disco lessons in the sixth grade. I don't like flowers in the house because they remind me of funerals. Haven't slept with a man in over a year and a half. The bathman cried after Bob called me a poisonous bitch. Oh, honey. And the uh, bird tattoo. Got them when I was 16, after my parents died. Many, many other things, but come up with right now. Okay, I want him to tell something about him, you know? It was so cool. You are there? <laughs> she just feels very exposed. It's processing. You really haven't slept with anyone in 18 months? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Who's Rob? Takes two to make a thing go right. Takes two to make it out of sight. I know who they are. I just wanted to hear you sing it. <sighs> Don't take this the wrong way. You are a very, very beautiful. I'm not base and I came to get down. Feel like a sleepover with your boss a little bit awkward than you. Next to it, I got outside! It feels like it's, a, it's actually a great rom com. That's a weird way to sleep. What time is it? Oh, 
Okay, things are turning. Room service. <gasps> oh no! Oh my god! Oh my god! Andrew, mm. help me get Just a baby blanket. Not a baby blanket. What? Are you wearing makeup? Oh. Sorry, it's morning. Oh my god! It's morning. morning. Oh. How are you okay? Oh wow. Oh, smells good. Hey, you have room for one more? <laughs> Okay, it's so weird. Meeting right now. We just just got up, if yeah. you don't mind. We want to get married yeah. here tomorrow, where we can be all together. Grandma Annie can be a part of it. Big birthday tomorrow Big night. We, we don't want to ruin it. Wanna... <laughs> it. Would be a dream come true. So you'll do it? <laughs> Before I'm dead? Okay, okay. <laughs> wow. Wanted to get married in a in a barn. Cool to hear us all awkwardly. Oh, we must give thanks, I tell you. Come. But we're just so excited. Yeah. <laughs> Mom finds out that this whole thing is a sham. She's gonna she's gonna be crushed. <laughs> oh, she's not gonna find oh, out. Not gonna God, find out. Margaret. It's not like when we're we're gonna be married forever. Oh, okay. okay. She's touching him now. Yeah. She and she can't stop. Look at that. And we're in the bed together, you know? Yeah. Cinnamon soy latte? And she's not feeling shy anymore, you know, to be in her pajama. But a quickie divorce will be fine. Keep my man happy. I don't want to leave me for another woman. Let go. You know what? I'm gonna go. It switched in her mind. She actually likes him now. You like going outside? She's feeling so uncomfortable. But hey, if she likes him, he's already marrying her. Doesn't happen to a lot of women. Just focus. This is a business deal. Okay. This is a little rough. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that's the axe following her in, in the bushes or something? Yeah. What is that? Yeah. Come to me, Margaret of New York. Come, see how I give thanks to Mother Earth. Well, if she's 89 and she's that, you know, energetic and good looking and all. Provided all this. So. Just as she brought you, come dance with me in celebration. Yes. Oh, ho, ho. And learn. E yeah. Feel the rhythm of the drum. I don't know any uh, chance. the trees. Use your vowel. Yes. G. The yes. trees. To the trees. <laughs> Fun what? fact about Andrew, number 11. I like Pringles. Mm -hmm. He's all charged up, Andrew. Thanks, buddy. Thank you very much. Lady? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Awkward. I need a computer. Is there, is there a computer in this godforsaken town? Internet cafe. But do it. I, no, I, do you think she's going to get jealous when she sees him talking to... <laughs> That's the internet. That's the sound of the internet. That's why you don't want ex hanging out around, you know? So it was nice to see Gertrude, huh? Yeah. Must be nice to see each other again and just catch up. She said no herself. She lost her chance, so. We need Margaret. Fred, we're gonna have to steal you away. It's girl stuff, you hate it. My mother made this dress by hand. Things come back in style. <laughs> wow, incredible. We can find your boobs. <laughs> This is like an Easter egg, huh? You could head down your way for the holidays. Maybe we could we could come to you too. I would like that very much. Aww. Let's make this absolute perfection. One special touch. Beautiful. And especially it's that it's a tradition. Oh my god. My great grandfather gave it to my great grandmother. You had to get approval from every member of the tribe. She was a lot like you. Wouldn't take no for an answer. I want you to have it. I, I can't. Oh my god, I wish it for every girl, you know, like having that not that good. Take it. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna cry. This is so sweet. Mm. Are you all right, dear? Uh, well, I, um, make sure there was enough time to get all the sewing done. Now let's get you out of those pins. Okay. Wow, that was incredibly sweet.
She's natural at operating the boat. She's freaking out because she realized that this is what she wanted all along. She cannot swim, right? So... Oh, she can. Hey, give me your hand! Come on, come on, I got you, I got you. You turn the boat and fall in, you jackass. Come on, it's okay. Oh, that's why I don't watch rom-coms, you know? This is so very nice. I want to talk to both of you. Do you think somehow he found out? Your mother is never to hear about any of this. The immigration lawyer called or something? Told you I'd check up on you. If you were lying, he would send you to prison. Your father negotiated a deal. You make a statement admitting this marriage is a sham. You're going to go to prison. Well, Canada is not that bad, though. That did crash, mom. Take the deal. I don't think so. I've been working for Margaret Tate for three years. Six months ago, we started dating. <laughs> It took her two days to fall in love. It's probably gonna take him like what three, but only I think because it is Gertrude there. Gonna take longer as well. You sure about this? Not really. You should have of what you've done, but I think that. You do the same for me? No. Now tomorrow's your wedding day. You've got your whole lives to be together. You know, if I don't go with her, she's just gonna come right back. Oh. See you in the morning. So sweet. God, everyone deserves a great love story, you know? Oh my god, so beautiful in the family dress. She's gorgeous. I love the dress. All of this, I know that right now we might not think it's real, but it looks very real to me. Because she doesn't have a parent, so Gemi is the one who's giving her away. This is so sweet. God, I love this. <laughs> like literally every job is done by this dude. To celebrate of Andrew and Margaret's True love, friends. Do you think she's not gonna are, roll with it? Your hand is up. I, I do have something I need to say. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Hi there. She's not gonna go with it. I am a Canadian with an expired visa. I forced Andrew here to marry me. Margaret, stop it. And for three years, I watched him work harder than anyone else at our company. I blackmailed him to come up here and to lie to you. She just didn't want to screw up for the family. And I thought it would be easy to watch him do it. It's not easy to ruin someone's life once you find out how wonderful you have a beautiful family. Don't let this come between you. This was my fault. Now the deal is off. You meet me at the dock, you're giving me a ride to the airport. Okay, but it's still 15 minutes left. I hope we make up. No, I don't know. Let me get my head on straight, okay? I'll... You were right. This book is special. Extraordinary eye. I'll make sure we buy this before I leave. That was, uh, crazy. Of course. And the axe right at the scene. Okay. I do have a problem with this. I'm sorry. Are you okay? No. That's it. Uh, like, this chapter of her life is finished. She was the one who rejected him. This woman is a gigantic pain in my ass because she doesn't have the decency to do it to my face. Never once has she had a nice thing to say. And then she goes ahead and she, she just makes me look crazy. You're just gonna let her go? Okay, she might be doing a nice thing right now but still still so weird now that you're leaving voluntarily very civilized water taxi is so cute stop it i'm not gonna let you do this stop i mean it. it no 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 <laughs> you two need to stop fighting promise me you'll stand by andrew she's such an amazing woman wow Oh. Promise. You'll work harder. Be a part of this family. The spirits can take me. <laughs> She's not dying though, right? I hope not. <laughs> I guess they're not ready for me. <laughs> take us to the airport, please. Take us to the airport. Oh. Maybe we're not authorized to take you to the airport. <laughs> She's a wonderful woman. <laughs> Giving up. Back in New York. I'm that good. Talk to me. Chuck, I have a little favor I need from you, buddy. I need you to stop the plane. Come on! Margaret. Oh, 
parents on that plane. And he didn't get to tell her. If she didn't love him, she wouldn't have left. Of course not. <laughs> oh. oh, oh, there you are. Thanks, John. I, I didn't know how you felt about her. His family is so nice. That's ridiculous. It was okay. so routine for him to be with her. Cares about her. The box is in my office to, to this address. To stay? Yes. What? Andrew. I'm panting. <laughs> because I've been running. I need to catch a 545. Stop talking! This is like. Three days ago, dreaming about you getting hit by a cab. <laughs> and we had our little adventure, and things started to change. And when he told me about your tattoo, me out when we were naked. Oh. <laughs> I didn't realize any of this until I was standing alone. The woman I love is about to be kicked out of the country. Marry me, because I'd like to date you. <laughs> you really want to be with me? Yes, I do. I think it would just be a lot easier. We forgot everything that happened. She's just scared. That would be easier. This is wonderful. I'm scared. Are you supposed to get down on your knee or something? This is such a cute love story. I really love this movie, especially with uh, the way how his family treats her. I think this is very rare and it's so like the dream, you know? This is great. You two are engaged again. Yes. Yes. One wrong answer. I'm going to take you down. Let's do it. Oh, I'm so sorry that we're not gonna see the... Um... When did you first start to... Okay, we will. Last week. <laughs> Was it love at first sight? No. No. Look, are they soulmates? <laughs> <laughs> we don't use the word Margaret around Kevin. <laughs> I've never farted in front of him, nor will I ever fart. You're asking me a question about who's on top. Laura should have done that, but she didn't. That's okay. Who's but Laura? Do your favorite color. Blue? White? Okay, moving on. Favorite color is blue. Who are you engaged to? Andrew. Oh my goodness, that was such a great movie. Thank you guys for voting a lot for me, for making a lot of votes for me to watch this one because I enjoyed it so much. It was very sweet, it was very funny, and this whole dynamic in the family is just great because I actually do miss my family a lot, you know? Um, I'm very tight with my family, but because it's me and my sister who moved away from all our relatives, you know, and from all our parents, seeing all of that is just, wow. Um, that was very warm and very sweet, so I hope everyone gets their um, happy ending at the end, you know? If you want to see my full-length reaction video, you know what to do, just follow my Patreon, link is in the video, and also in the description. Also, thank you guys very much, and thank you to my patrons, and I want to have a special shout out to the following patrons today. Infinite Misery, 003, Danny T, Dan, Ragnar Mears, Jackalope, 71, and Timothy Mer Mergenthaler. Thank you guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.